Hi everyone. Login with Google and social media sites has become a trend now. In this video, I will show you how you can use Laravel Socialite to login with a Google account. I have created a Laravel project and first we need to make some changes in our UI and users migration. For the UI, I will be using Laravel Breeze. So let's go to the login blade file and add a login with Google button. For this, I'm just going to copy paste the button that I have built. Now let's go to our users migration. I have just added a new column named Google ID which will be of type string and it will be a unique column. This Google ID column will hold the ID which will be returned by Google. Now we need to install the socialite package and we do that by running the command composer require laravel socialite. Once the package has been installed we need to grab Google credentials for all auth. And for this, let's go to the browser and we need to go to the Google Developer Console. You can simply search for Google Console and you can see this link for Google Developer Console. I will also leave the link in the description as well. Once you have clicked the link in the description, you need to go into API and Services. In case you haven't created a project, you can simply click here at the top and from here click on Create Project then you just need to add the project name and location of your choice. Once you are done, you can go into the API and services page. If you have opened this page for the first time, you may be asked to set up Google consent screen. So what is that? Basically in simple words, it's a screen that your user will see when they are redirected to Google for authorization. So first go to OAuth consent screen and then you will have to fill in a form which has multiple steps. You can just fill in the required fields and you will be good to go, which includes app name, support email and the Google developer email. Once you have created OAuth consent screen, you need to route to the credentials tab from the sidebar. Then you need to create a new credential for your app. So in order to do that, click on the create credential button at the top and select OAuth client ID from the drop down. Choose the application type, which in our case is a web application, and then enter the name for this app. Also, you need to add a redirect URL down below. Because once you are authorized by Google, this is where Google will redirect you to. Click create. And now that the credentials are generated, let's go into our application and do the rest of the stuff. First, inside our environment file, add the credential we just created for Google OAuth. Next, go into services.php and configure the settings to use these credentials. We also need to add the configuration of redirect URL which you enter. You can either create another environment variable for this or just define it inside this config file. Next, let's move to web.php and add our routes. So we will create two routes, one for the authorization and the other one will be the callback we defined while creating the credentials in the Google console. Now let's create our controller for these routes and add our logic inside. I have created a controller named social auth controller and inside I have defined two methods. Let's see the logic inside these methods. The first method redirect to provider will just redirect us to the Google authorization page. So we simply return socialite, driver, Google and redirect. So if we are using Facebook or Twitter or GitHub, we will just give the name inside here. The second method will be called once the authorization is successful. Inside this method, the first thing we are doing is that we are checking if there is any authorized user or not. If we are not authorized, then simply redirect to the login page. We can also add some error messages here as well, but let's keep it simple for now. Once we have the user's detail, we are checking if there is any existing record in our database for this specific user, then retrieve that user's record. Otherwise, we are just creating a new user and then we are simply logging this user in. So now let's see things in our browser. First. Let me add a dive dump so that I can show you the response we are getting back from Google authorization and then we will see how things actually work. If I hit save and go to our login page, from there I can click on login with Google. You can see I'm asked to choose the account to login from and once done you can see the response we receive from the Google which includes fields like ID, name, email, avatar and expiry time as well. So you can use the response as you may like. 
Now let's remove the diagram and see proper flow once again. You can see that we are logged in now and there is also a new record in the database as well. So this is how you can use Socialite to log in with your Google account. I hope you have liked the content of this video. Kindly give a thumbs up and if you are new to the channel, please subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching this video.